Good afternoon. My name is Rob Voorhees. I'm the president of Hosokal Micron Powder Systems located in Summit, New Jersey. This afternoon, I'd like you to introduce you to the Micropolverizer High Speed Hammer and Screen Mill. The model you see here is the model 2DH 20 horsepower machine designed to process a wide variety of materials on a continuous basis. The Micropulverizer was the first machine developed by the Pulverizing Machinery Corporation back in 1923. The reason for its development was to produce finer powders than were available on the market at the time. The Micropulverizer comes in numerous different model sizes. A smaller machine like you see here can be run with no ancillary components. With the addition of an air relief bag and discharge um, skirt, the machine can be gravity fed and gravity discharged without the need for an external blower or dust collector. However, on larger production systems, we would want to add a, a, a pneumatic conveying hopper, dust collector and fan for high capacity continuous operation. The micropulverizer you see here is designed and engineered for years of a continuous service. You can see the robust design, heavy cast design of the main body and feed screw mechanism. In addition, controls for the smaller units are mounted on the main uh, skid. On larger production units, we would provide the system with an independent control panel to operate the complete system. Let's look a little bit closer at the mill itself. Here you see the mill cover, which is easily removed. Uh, but before we go any further, please let me remind you to wear safety goggles and follow all operating procedures for safety reasons and follow lockout tagout procedures as required. Let's talk about the internal components of the mill and give you a little bit more information. Here you can see the impact hammer. These hammers come in a wide variety of materials of construction and surface tipping for various applications. Also, we provide a number of different types of hammers depending upon the application. Here you see a bar type stirrup hammer. This is an example of a rigid bar hammer used for much coarser grinding. The other internal components consist of a screen assembly, which controls the particle top size, and the screen itself can be provided in a number of different configurations of hole sizes and hole configurations for different applications and to produce different particle size distributions. Lastly, the cover of the mill is provided with a multiple deflector liner. Let's review the operation of the mill. Here you see a feed hopper, where material is introduced into the mill. Right below it is a volumetric feed screw assembly, which controls the feed rate to the mill. And this, this mill can be set up with various gearboxes at different gearbox ratios to control that capacity. Material is fed from the screws into the face of these hammers. This rotor rotates at high speed, about 20,000 feet per minute. Material is impacted by the hammers, hits the multiple deflector liner, where it's deflected back into the hammer path for further size reduction. And finally, at the discharge of the mill, there's a screen assembly. The screen assembly can be supplied with various perforations and perforation hole sizes so that we can produce a wide variety of particle size distributions in a high speed hammer mill like this. The micropulverizer can be provided in a number of different designs that make it suitable for processing a wide variety of materials for the pharmaceutical, chemical, mineral, cosmetics, and food markets. The machines are available in sizes from 1 to 350 horsepower, and the largest machines can produce capacities of up to 15 tons per hour. Over the years, Hoskow Micron Powder Systems has supplied thousands of these machines for a wide variety of applications. If you'd like to learn more about the equipment or have a test performed on your material, please contact us through our website or watch our online webinar series about micropulverizers. Thank you very much for your attention today.